Good day. If you're having troubles with your Microsoft Edge, you've probably already figured out that it cannot be easily reset back to factory. Uh, however, there is a way to do it, which is to remove it and reinstall it. And uh, let me show you how to do that. This is not a, uh, a normal process. Microsoft has defined uh, Microsoft Edge as a, quote, modern app. So what you have to do is log in as a different user. Uh, that's an administrator, by the way. That's what I'm logged in as now. I'm logged in as person A, and um, which is uh, not the same as person B. Person B is the one that's experiencing troubles with uh, Microsoft Edge that I need to reset. In her case, actually, it's the very first time I've seen it, uh, a browser hijack. So person B's uh, Microsoft Edge has been hijacked. I can't seem to resolve it. Um, so I'm just going to gun the whole thing and re-add it. So let's go about that. So I've logged in again as, a, as an admin. Um, I'm going to now sign, I'm now going to go drill through the C drive, users, the uh, affected person that I want to uh, apply uh, Microsoft Edge uh, replacement to. Now, just a note, as, Microsoft, as I said, Microsoft Edge is a modern app, and what that means is that it's installed for every user. It's installed separately for every user. So let's go through here. So app data. Now, to see this folder, you need to make sure that your hidden items are on. So click view up at the top here and then hit hidden items and file extensions. Uh, those should always be on in my opinion. Anyway, uh, it's in app data and then local and then uh, packages. And in here we should find Microsoft Edge somewhere there where there it is. Now, because I'm not logged in as the person that's having troubles, I can simply go through and I can rename it. So I'm just gonna put uh, Delmi. Boom, now it's dead. So hers is gone. So now what I need to do is sign out of this user, sign in as uh, the um, affected user, or sorry, yeah, sign in as the affected user and just re-add it. Pretty simple, really. So there we go. So I'm just going to um, uh, go up here and sign out. There we go. I'm just signing in now as the affected user. And I'm going to go bring up a command prompt, but a very special one, the one that's uh, called PowerShell, and I need to run it as an administrator. So I could just click start and type in PowerShell. That'll probably find it. Yeah, there it is or you could go through and find it. So I'm just gonna right click on this and select run as administrator. Boom, there it is. Okay, so the, the, I'm gonna put a command in first just to make sure I've got the right uh, text here. So the command is get app package and then asterisk, you know, wildcard, edge wildcard. And that'll show me what the uh, application packages are that are built into the system uh, with the proper name. So there it is. So that's the name that I need to use right there. So let's go out and uh, pop that uh, command in with that install location. Okay, so you can see here that this path, C, Windows, System Apps, Microsoft, Microsoft Edge, blah, 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 it ends with BBW, E is right here. So it's definitely, I definitely got the right one. And I'll click OK on it. Or just press Enter, I should say not OK. There it is. And now, Let's see what happens. Hopefully Edge works. Without being browser hijacked. Yep, look, look, it thinks it's brand new because of course it is, it was just installed. So there we go, that's how you solve a browser hijack or how you clean up and do a completely hard reset on Windows Edge, like uh, that Microsoft Edge. That's it, please check www.urtech.ca if you have any other questions about this. Thank you. Bye.